It's April 18th today, uh, 2017, and Tesla has dropped some um, news in terms of pricing for their vehicles. Um, I'm going to compare what I paid versus what the current uh, vehicle is worth or being sold for today with a similar um, setup. Also, you can upgrade your battery now uh, to the 75 kilowatt from the 60 uh, for $2,000, which is a um, seven thousand dollar price change from yesterday uh, so the originally you could upgrade your vehicle battery from 60 to 75 kilowatts for nine thousand um, dollars and now you could do it for two thousand dollars hello <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys the difference between range for both the 60 and the 75 75 kilowatt battery and I'm also going to show you a price comparison between what I paid for the vehicle versus what it's, um, how much it's worth now if you are building one from scratch. So let's check it out. Alright, so first let's check a look at my uh, MEPA, my Motor Vehicle Purchase Agreement from when I purchased it, which was back in um, January 6, 2017, which is not long ago. Uh, you see I ordered the Model 60. Um, for 68 base price, deep blue metallic paint, glass roof, so forth. So my subtotal is 78,000 right there, you can see it. So let's build the same vehicle or comparable vehicle and let's see what the price is now. Um, and let's, let's, look at, let's take a look at the differences. All right, so here we are at the uh, My Tesla page. This is, this is actual real time. And you can see the uh, 75 kilowatt battery with 259 EPA range, uh, with the same paint, which is deep blue, deep blue metallic paint, the glass roof, just like mine, the 19 inch wheels. And although they don't have the same build out for the interior, you're gonna do something that's the most similar, which is the, the tan interior with the uh, figured ash wood and the white Alcantara um, headliner. I have the black Alcantara uh, headliner and I have the um, ash wood decor so that's the only differences in terms of um, uh, interior design so here you can see 75 um, rear wheel drive and you have nothing else included I have the enhanced autopilot which is what I have on my vehicle and no other options included um, the price now it's base is 78.8 .8, which is $800 more um, for the vehicle built as is now one thing they are doing different now is that they're including standard the automatic rear lift gate which is awesome i think that's one great gimme um that's one of the things i really wanted on my vehicle but i didn't want to pay for the upgrade um for the hepa filter and the lighting i just didn't think it was worth it at the time but now the automatic real rear lift gate is uh included which is awesome i think that's a great idea on Tesla's behalf on their part to include that so 78.8 so you're paying $800 more uh, for 75 for 15 uh, kilowatt battery more and you're also getting the um, automatic rear lift gate so that's a pretty good deal including for for $800 more now uh, let's take a look at the upgrade as it is now and what I think in terms of um, analyzing the price change if it's worth it or not for me that i've already uh already have the vehicle let's take a look at that all right so you have it here's a comparison between the 60 kilowatt battery and the 75 kilowatt battery um one of the things i just learned is that the 60 kilowatt battery currently only does 130 top speed miles per hour top speed and the 75 does 140 uh, kil uh, miles per hour top speed so that that's actually a little more i mean i i don't see myself going either of those speeds but I guess in some other countries the um, highways are a little faster so you may you be using it not not here in Chicago all right so the 60 kilowatt battery gives you a 218 mile EPA range the 75 kilowatt gives you 250 mile EPA range now what I what I've done and to compare is this you can currently charge your 60 kilowatt battery a hundred percent right because in theory, it's a 75 kilowatt battery included. 
So if you're charging at 100%, you're not deteriorating the battery, you're not causing any stress because you're only charging it at 80% capacity. So you're getting 218 miles EPA range if you charge it at 100% without stressing the battery. With a 75 kilowatt battery, you, if you charge it at 100%, you're charging at 200, you, you're getting an estimated 259 miles EPA range. But that's stressing the battery and it's not recommended. So what they recommend is that you charge it at about 90% of its uh, capacity, which will give you uh, approximately 233 miles EPA range. So um, if you charge the 60 kilowatt battery at 90% um, charging, which is what I do, even though you're not, you don't really have to because you're already limiting the battery at, for its full capacity, you're getting 196 miles EPA range. So let's compare. If you charge your 60 kilowatt battery at 100%, you're getting 218 miles. If you charge your 75 kilowatt battery at 90%, you're getting 233 miles um, EPA range. So charging at 100% both batteries you're getting a difference of about 40 to 41 miles at 100% charge. So is it is it worth it to um, upgrade to the 75 kilowatt battery if you're only getting 40 miles? Some would say yes, some you know, some need that extra range, especially if you're doing long distance trips. And that's when it's recommended. Um, Tesla recommends that you only charge your battery 100% if you're doing long distance traveling. Not if you're doing short term commuting because you really don't need it. All right, so let's, uh, now that you can see that, you can see the comparison between the two and we could, uh, you could decide if you think it's worth it for you or not to uh, upgrade to the 75 kilowatt battery. All right, so here we are on the uh, My Tesla page. This is my personal account. Um, and just a reminder, if you're in the market for a Tesla, please use my referral code for $1,000 off your purchase. As you can see, I've got zero referrals. <laughs> Uh, I just want to see one. I mean, it'd be fun to see one person uh, use my referral. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. Uh, so here's the new message on my Tesla page to upgrade. Here's a range upgrade option. You can see it there to uh, from 60 to 75. Um, so let's go through that to see how it looks, and um, it's gonna we're gonna compare. I'm gonna I'm currently charging the vehicle from. Um, my usual 90, I'm going to charge it 100% to see what the range difference is uh, when I upgrade to the 75 kilowatt. Um, should be interesting. Let's take a look. Click on this button here. Or not. It's not. It's not working. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Alright, so there it is. Range upgrade dramatically improve the convenience and enjoyment of road trips and your commute please complete to to finalize your range upgrade there you go all right so let's uh it's about 12 36 p.m here in chicago central time on um April 17th and I'm curious to see how long it takes from the time that you upgrade to the time that your vehicle receives the upgrade I'm currently on Wi-Fi the vehicle is currently on Wi-Fi so uh, let's time it I'm sh I should get a notification that it's done uh, so let's start it's about 12 36 p.m. now and let's see how long it takes click on that And there you have it. So let's see um, how long it takes. Be right back. So I came out to the car. It's 12:46. It's not even 10 minutes have passed, and I came out just to check the uh, charging, and it's already done. Congratulations, your battery pack upgrade has been was successful. So it's done. There you have it. Um, it's charging now. I have it charging. So now I have a 75 kilowatt Model S 75. You can see it on the um, instrument cluster. It says Model S 75 now instead of the 60. Um, it does say that I could take my car to the um, 
one of the sensors to get it to Tesla to get it rebadged to a 75. So I may do that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it anytime soon, but um, there, my car is now officially a 75 for a um, quite the price change, right? It, it should be nine thousand dollars, and now it's uh, two thousand dollars or upgrade because it was nine thousand plus tax. Now it's two thousand plus tax. So there you have it. Let me click on that. And there you have it. I'm currently charging. I could change this to a 40 amp. Um, increases the charging um, a lot faster. I'm going to drop it down to 90 because um, I don't need 100. Let's do about there. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, I think it's it's a it's a it's a good thing to do. You know, like if you only if you're upgrading your vehicle um, from a sixty to seventy five, this is probably the best time to do it. It's since they dropped the price. I can imagine that they will do it again um, as battery technology gets improved, just like anything else with technology. Um, I can see them dropping the price again in the near future, uh, but for educational purposes i thought i'd share the process with you guys and, and it, you can see how easy it was for them to do that a flick of a button um some automated process changes your battery from a 60 to 75 um but i think it was good, a good a good de um, deal for me um now you know i have a full uh capacity whenever i need it you know i can charge as needed if i plan to take any long distance trips or anything um the added 40 miles could be uh, it could be a, it could be good. All right. So thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button and don't forget to use that referral code if you haven't or if you're in the market to uh, buy your own Tesla. Um, join our family. It's uh, it's it's like none other. You can't explain it unless you drive one of these vehicles. It's just amazing. So thanks for watching and see you guys soon.